If you're a highly motivated individual like I am, I got a concept that I continually struggle to internalize and I don't know if you're struggling with this too, but I'm making this as a reminder video for myself. Maybe it'll help somebody else out too. The distinction I want to draw is the difference between being hurt and being injured. I left 29 Jefferson, are you injured or are you hurt? What does that mean? Well, if you're hurt, you can still play. If you're injured, you can't. So are you hurt or are you injured? Uh, I think I'm just hurt. That's good. And get up. See, this past Tuesday, we had some funky weather and my head was messed up and I was not capable of doing anything. I tried to bend over to pick something up and almost fell over. So I had to take a moment there and realize that in this instance, I should consider myself injured. Today, I just had a little headache. So, okay, fine. I can keep going. Now, I came to sports a little bit later in life. I'm still not a super huge fan of a whole heck of a lot, but uh, I grew up on the beach. I know surfing, that kind of stuff. Uh, sports ball, not really my thing. But my kid got accepted up at FSU and he's in the marching band, which, you know, really proud of him for that. And kind of sideways, I've gotten into, into FSU football, which I guess is kind of cool. You know, got new friends out of it, which is awesome. Um, but, you know, that's the gear. Got to represent the team. So this past weekend was the game between FSU and Miami. And I was watching the quarterback for Miami, Emory Williams, number 17. And I have to say, you know, I'm a road amateur, but I was pretty impressed with him. From the chat around the game, they said he was a freshman and he was actually getting the job done very well, right up until the fourth quarter. Fourth down and two. Under three minutes to go, Miami down by seven. Looked like some confusion. Williams carries and He took a hit. It didn't look like that bad of a hit until you see his legs kicking. And in this case, he was injured. And now Williams is not getting up. He wasn't just hurt, he was really injured. And we figured out later, um, I saw it on the replay, uh, which I'm not going to show you, but later on, various yeah, sources have mean. confirmed that he has a compound fracture of his yeah, left arm. Williams obviously in a lot of pain up around his right shoulder, still in tears, right arm. So he's now officially just injured, every single teammate, uh, which is a shame. I mean, the kid is just an amazing player, and he's got all this talent, but he can't play right now. And all the reports say he's going to be on the bench until springtime, and that's not that. That's a very reasonable healing schedule and getting him back in shape. For every single one of those guys in white jerseys, and he'll be a hero in that locker room, regardless of the outcome of this game. His parents are going to head down toward the locker room. I look at him and, you know, I totally understand. He's got a broken arm. He has no business being out on the football field right now. But I also know he's the type of guy who's going to get out there and still try and work with his other arm as best he can. And right now he can't. His only job is to recover. And for those of us that push too hard a lot of times, it's a very difficult distinction for us to make, especially when it comes to ourselves. Am I injured or am I just hurting? If you're just hurting, we keep going. The problem is we keep going when we're injured too. And that's not healthy. We wouldn't expect Emory Williams to be back out there on the field for this game this weekend. Why do we expect that out of ourselves? So y'all keep your chin up. Go Knowles. I'll catch you in the next one.